First, Israeli forces are raiding al-Shifa hospital in northern Gaza. They say they are attacking the complex because Hamas has a command center located beneath it. The IDF says Hamas is using connected tunnels below the hospital to hold the some 240 hostages who were taken October 7th. Now, doctors at the hospital have denied those allegations, saying staff were given just a 30-minute warning ahead of the raid. The hospital is one of the largest in Gaza, but witnesses have described the conditions inside as horrific. You can see these latest pictures, which are the first to show the inside of the hospital since the raid began. Well, the WHO says the hospital is no longer functioning as a medical facility due to a lack of electricity and supplies. Tonight, the electricity was cut completely. Blood samples have piled up. Blood units may be ruined completely. We cannot start the machines to do tests. Under these circumstances, the laboratory and blood bank have stopped, and everything inside may have been ruined and damaged. I am Dr. Shadi Isamradi. I have worked in the intensive care department for seven years. Three weeks ago, my wife was killed while I was working. I've had to bring the children with me, and I am still working.